Over the last months, I've been at several conferences and sometimes at different companies. And what really puzzles me is that close to 20 years after the publishing of the Agile Manifesto, there are still companies talking about Agile transformation and consulting companies talking about offering services to help companies go Agile. That really surprises me because unless you have very good reasons why you shouldn't have done so already, you should have adopted Agile practices years, if not a decade ago. So, so what is going on? Well, one of the arguments that many business leaders bring up is that Agile is just a way for developers to get away from uh, providing long, accurate long-term estimates. And that's, of course, an incorrect viewpoint. I mean, the whole starting point for Agile practices is that it allows you to develop systems and solutions where I can have fast feedback loops between me and the customer. So it isn't that it is, there's nothing magical or even superior about long-term estimates. Actually, real companies that want to drive a significant competitive advantage don't focus on accurate long-term predictions. They focus on fast feedback loops. And if we look at companies and how they evolve in practice, we've defined a model that we call the stairway to heaven, where we basically model how companies go through a number of stages. So starting from traditional development, Companies move to uh, agile development, then they adopt continuous integration and test practices. Then they move to continuous deployment, where software is uh, basically deployed on a frequent basis to products in the field. And then finally, you can start to use your RMD system as an innovation system by allowing for A-B testing and, and, and other approaches. A second argument that comes up is that Many companies claim that their customers don't want agile and continuous deployment, but rather our customers want yearly release cycles. And I believe that this is a wrong, incorrect perspective. Everyone that I know, both on the business side and on the consumer side, wants their products to get better on a daily basis. No one is against getting frequent updates. The challenge that most companies deal with is that the cost of driving updates is very, very high. So the, the uh, getting a new release and then having uh, several of the features that used to work suddenly not work anymore is, of course, very stressful and problematic. And in practice, for most companies, they've simply been shipping low quality code, which has taught their customers that they don't they should not update very frequently because it's very bad for productivity. Second, the amount of effort associating with upgrading software and products tends to be very large in uh, traditional companies. Now, the answer to both concerns in this context is, of course, automation. What we're looking for is we want to get to production quality, uh, uh, production level quality at any point in time, and we do that through continuous integration and test. Second, the deployment, and if we do that, we don't run into the quality issues at deployment that we have been running into in the past. The second is that upgrading the software should be easy, simple, and automated. Yeah, so the customer should not even have to worry or deal with the whole upgrade problem. Uh, it should just happen as much as possible in the background with no or minimal involvement of customers. So, and it turns out that when you start to automate these kind of things, this has significant side benefits as well. Many companies, once they start to automate things, start to professionalize and standardize activities to an extent that not just the uh, benefits of frequent deployment are achieved, but even within the company, there is an increasing level of professionalism and structure. Of course, these things are not easy to realize and implement, but... Uh, this is, to me, what the role of leaders is all about. It isn't to shy away from hard changes because of uh, excuses such as uh, my developers just don't want to do long-term uh, predictions or my customers are not asking for it. I think that that's a fallacy that will basically just set you up for disruption. But rather, leadership is concerned with taking on these challenges and then successfully implementing and realizing them in the company. So, as a conclusion, if in 2019, you and your company have not adopted agile practices, I, to be very honest, think you've not been doing your job. Unless you have very strong arguments for why you shouldn't do it, be doing agile, I think 
you simply, it's about time that you get moving on this thing and get it in place. It is time to stop talking about Agile.